So I decided to do a little project this weekend. I wanted to make a couple of bedside um, USB um, ports uh, for the phones and tablets to charge overnight rather than having the cable run from behind the bed which doesn't give you much length um, in the, the cable itself um, to actually use a device while it's still charging if needed. Uh, it's just something I kind of came up with, browsed a little bit online, didn't really find anything like what I wanted to do, but I did get some good ideas, so um, this is what I'm going to do. Give you a brief explanation, and then we'll come back to it afterwards. Um, so what I decided to do is get to Home Depot. Um, they had these um, outlets that have an outlet and uh, USB ports. Um, these are nice because they have a, let's see if I can get it there. 3.6 amp USB charger on it, which is fantastic because that's pretty much higher than any of the other um, higher than any of the other voltages you get out of a regular adapter. So that'll mean it'll charge the tablet and phone faster. Um, <clears throat> got two of those. I believe they were about twenty dollars each. Um, and then these are the other um, items that I bought. A couple extension cords with the flat edge. Uh, so they can go behind the bed and the nightstand without having to stick out and push um, the bed or a nightstand further forward. Uh, just a piece of PVC pipe, a couple of um, uh, outlet boxes, and uh, some adapters for that pipe, and just some face plates. Um, here is the receipt so you can see what I am spending on this. Um, go down it real quick. Yeah, the um, adapters, or USB outlets, I'm sorry, were about $40 for the two. So my total spent today was $77.73. I'm going to start doing some work, and I will come back. Thanks for watching. Uh, sanded down the pipe, got it nice and smooth, uh, split it in two. Second piece is here, I haven't done this one yet, so it's still shiny. Um, and then this is kind of what it looks like now. As you can see, this is what the original one was. Uh, has little tabs on the bottom, um, the holes in the back, bottom, and sides. Um, this one I put in the adapter for the pipe. Um, the hole in the back will go in, or it will be covered, uh, just like the one on the top is. And this is kind of how it's going to sit with the uh, pipe in it. It'll look something like that. I went ahead and I took the pipe in. Uh, measured it for the back of the nightstand and drilled the holes in the uh, pipe. Let's see if I can get that to focus. And I uh, did a little countersink in there so that it would be flush with the pipe. Uh, just another update. Um, here's my two that are now completed. And uh, I'm going to do the uh, wiring, put it in the pipe, and then I'll give you another update. Got the wiring done. Uh, when I chose the electrical cord, I did choose the three-wire cord so that it would be uh, properly grounded. Um, there it goes into the pipe, added the pipe to the bottom of the junction box, and make sure that you put the plug in the right direction so you don't um, wire it and then have to pull the cable back out and rewire it again. Um, got them both done. All wired up, put together, and I'm going to go install them on the nightstands. So here's just a quick clip of it attached to the back of the nightstand. And here it is attached to the nightstand. And that's what it's going to look like plugged in. Alright, so there you have it. Fully installed. Looks really nice with the uh, furniture. Here's the other one. Again, looks really nice. 